Moses to take his shoes off. He was basically saying, break them all. Destroy that. Dissolve that. Divorce that. Whatever was in your life. Whatever was from the yesterday that you might try to bring into the presence of God. Because you can't bring your yesterdays in the presence of God. And so if I could entitle this message, put off thy shoes, I would try to add a word, put off thy yesterdays. All right. All right. Destroy your yesterdays. Dissolve your yesterdays. Divorce your yesterdays. Because the very word shoes in the Greek means something bound under feet. And so how can we have victory? And how can we stand on holy ground? And how can we be what God wants us to be? If we're still bound with our shoes of yesterday. Probably if you've been in church any length of time, 
but I'm going to try to help you. And if you'll listen to me, and if you'll apply this, you're going to be the better. You're going to live a more joyous, peaceful life. You're going to be able to sleep better at night. You're going to be able to deal with things better if you'll just apply what I'm about to tell you. Because Paul said it very plain. Let's read it in Philippians chapter 3. Not as though I had already attained. Look, I haven't attained perfection. I have not yet made it. I'm not yet mature. There's some things in my life that I'm still working on. But it says, either we're already perfect, but I follow after. If that I may apprehend. Oh, I want to apprehend that for which I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Listen to verse 13. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended. But this one thing. This I one do. thing. This one thing. He cast off his shoes. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, yes, he does. He takes off his shoes. Paul, oh, he walked all over Judea. Yeah. And there was a lot of things that he did that he regretted. But it says here, this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind. And reaching forth unto those things which are before. Oh, Pastor, you just don't know what I'm dealing with. You just... You don't know the pain. I'm not minimizing what took place. I'm not minimizing the pain. It's just sad that you're still living in it. All right. All right. You can't change it. That's right. There's nothing you can do to undo it. All right. But if you can forget it, All right. it will not affect you as much as it's affecting you now. Right. If you can destroy it, if you can put it off, if you can put it under your feet and take it off, if you won't be bound by it, if you'll divorce it. Oh, but Pastor, it's just, it was just too awful. I just, I just can't, I just can't forget it. You know what this forgetting means in the Greek? It means neglecting. It means to lose out of mind. <laughs> you know why you can't forget something? Because all you do is think about it. All right. You know why you're still in pain? And you know why that very event, five years, two years, 20 years, is still affecting you? Because you always want to bring it up and talk about it. All right. Cast it off. Cast it off. Remove it. Destroy it. Break it. And if you're not thinking about it, if you refuse to talk about it, Pastor, I don't know if I can do that. That's because you haven't tried. Because it's so easy to get with someone and begin to talk about what happened. This person did this. These people did this. And you begin to talk about it. You know what you're doing? You're just keeping yesterday, today, alive. Yeah. Amen. That's the truth. All it's doing is hurting you more and more and more. In fact, sometimes it hurts you more than the actual event hurts you when it happened. Right. Yeah. Because you're stewing on it. Right. Yes. That's all you do is think about it. Right. Yeah. Oh, if that wouldn't have happened to me, if that wouldn't have happened, yeah. oh, my life would be so much better. What's keeping you from having a good life right now? It's already done. There's nothing that's going to unchange it unless I choose not to talk about it anymore. Yeah. If I can somehow make up my mind, yeah, it may try to come in. It may be difficult at first, but I've got to press towards the mark. I've got to work yeah. about it. I've got to get it out of my thoughts. When it begins to come in, I've got to take my shoes off. Wait a minute, I'm not thinking about that no more. When somebody in your family or friends begin to talk about it, why don't you just get up and leave? Say, look, that's done. That was yesterday. It's over. I can't change it, but I'm living today. I want peace today, so I'm leaving. I'm not talking about it anymore. I'm not bringing it up anymore. That's why you forget people's names. Be hard to forget them. If you were saying the name over and over and thinking about it over and over and over and over, you couldn't. Right. That's why if you don't see somebody in a long time, get their name. What about their name? <laughs> because you haven't thought of them in a long time. Right. right. If you were thinking about them every day, and you saw them, you would know their name. The same thing about your yesterdays. Yes. All right. And I, and I realize, I realize that some of our yesterdays are terrible. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they really were just terrible. But why are you still living today, 20 years ago? Yes, amen. 
That doesn't make sense to me. But we all do it. Because we don't know the principle. I said we don't know the principle. Even the Lord puts, listen to me, even the Lord puts our sins away. Yes, he does. As far as the east is from the west, why? He has the power to forget, but he puts it away so he's not talking about it. So he's not thinking of them. That's what forgiveness is all about. Forgiveness is putting the harm, the hurt away. It's not just saying, well, I'm going to be right with God. I'm going to tell you I forgive you. But you know something? I'm leaving here and I'm never going. I am never. I've made up my mind. I am never going to forget what you did. Then you're going to be living in misery for the rest of your life. Amen. Me. Right. Right. And the other person that did you harm, they may be having a high time. And that makes you even more mad. Right. All right. And that makes you talk about it even more. And that makes you so unhappy even more. Right. Why don't you make up your mind and say, if that person or person's living in a good way, I'm going to live in a good yeah. way. Hallelujah. I, I. Amen. This applies to all of us. Amen. Amen. Children, young people, young adults, older adults, every one of us have problems with our yesterday because we still wear it. Right. True. Yeah. Just when you think maybe you're getting over it. Just think, well, man, I haven't heard about this in a long time. And the next thing you know, someone that's supposed to be your friend or in your family will come over and say, man, what, what took place, you know, blah, 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 you know. You know and then all of a sudden, it <clears throat> comes right back. And then you jump on the bandwagon. You say, yeah, I remember it. And you know something? Now, you may disagree with this, and you have a right. But many times, after 20 plus years, after 10 years, we can't even remember exactly how it happened. That's and so right. we begin to make things up to make us feel better about how bad it was. All right. Woo! Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We don't need to get a story straight. It is right. So why don't you just cast it away and begin to work at it Look, oh, that help just came in. No, I'm going to think of something else. I'm going to read the Bible. I'm going to listen to some gospel. I'm going to do something. I'm going to read a book. I'm going to do something to get my mind off of this yesterday shoe. And I'm going to cast it off so that I can begin to live a victorious life today. Hallelujah. That's why I would even told Moses, take off my shoes. Don't you bring me yesterday in here. I know who you are. I know what you did. I know you're a murderer. But that is not applicable today. Today is the day of salvation in your heart and mind. Don't you bring those unclean shoes. Don't you bring those unclean thoughts. Don't you bring. This is holy ground. Yes. It's hard for us to even have victory in the Lord. Yes. Because we are allowing. We are allowing. Now, I know that I can just sense that some of you say, Pastor, seems like you're just making light of all. I am not making light of it. Amen. I've got things in my life, and I know many of you, and I know some things in your life, and I'm not making light of it. But why? Why do you keep living there? Right. Amen. You can forget it. Right. Yes. Yes, you can forget it. Amen. We have forgotten so much we can forget whatever harm was done to us. Right. If we'll work at it. Amen. Yes, it will work at it. Amen. Amen. If you'll work at it, you can forget your own birthday. I have. Yep. Two years passed, and I'm thinking, how come, Brother Stone, and I, I said, how come you're two years older than me? I thought we were the same age. I got thinking, I missed a birthday. You can. God has given you the ability to forget. Right. And it's only when somebody will talk about it that it comes alive. To let an individual or individuals that hurt me continue to hurt me. That's right. Amen. Does that make sense? No. But we do. Because we're bound by it. So the simple thought, take off thy shoes. Come on. Take off thy yesterday. Begin to work. Make up your mind, even though you're thinking about it, you think you need somebody, talk to God about it. God, help me to forget it. Help me to put it behind me. Help me to get 
some peace for once and some joy for once. Yes, amen. It says here in Hebrews 11, verses 13 through 16, that these all died in faith, not having received the promises, but have seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. And it says in verse 14, those that say such things seek a country. Now listen to verse 15. This applies to all of us. We think it has to do with sin, and it may. But it also has to do that we go back to yesterday. The old man. The conversation of the old man. The old garden. We relive we live the pain. Why? Does it, does it do something for you to relive the pain? What does it do? Makes you depressed? Makes you angry? Why would I put that in my life? And it says here, and truly, if they had been mindful of that country which they came out, they might have opportunity to have returned. If I use this in this yesterday scenario, if I'm mindful, if I exercise memory, if I recollect yesterday, I'm going to find a season or occasion to live there. Yes. But now they desire a better country, a better today, yes. that is stronger and noble. Yes. This is one of the most pertinent, important messages that I've given you. All right. All right. Because there's not a person here that's, right. that's not tormented by yesterday. Yes. All right. All right. Bunch. You can't even enjoy life. You can't even get up and say, thank God I'm living. Amen. Because you're not really living because you're still in yesterday and yesterday is dead. Yeah, that's, right. that's right. So why not begin to try? Make the effort. Keep making the effort. If you find yourself, well, I'm not doing very well, try again. Amen. Get the message and listen to it. Yes. Amen. Begin to purposely Find things that you can put in your thoughts other than that terrible incident. Right. And make up your mind, I'm not allowing anybody in my family. I'm not allowing anybody that is so-called my friend. We're going to right now, we're not talking about it anymore. Right. We're not talking about it anymore. And you'll find that the less you talk about it, the less you're going to be mindful of it. And the less you're mindful, you won't visit it as often. And pretty soon you'll be visiting today. And pretty soon you'll get more of an optimism of what God can do and has done for you. Be a new creature. You can't live in the past. That's right. It's impossible. And so... I wasn't correct to say that I can't forget. I can forget anything I choose right. if I work at it hard enough. Amen. Right. Now, somebody may jog my memory and say something. And I may say something like, wow, I hadn't thought about that in years. Some of you in your childhood, you're still traumatized by what took place. <coughs> You can't be free the way God intends you to be free because you allow your mind to run with it. Instead of renewing your mind to prove what is acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. The transforming of your mind. Amen. It's not going to be something that we can just do with the snap of a finger, but we can begin to work at it. What is, is is. Now let's go on from it. Right. We want the anger and the bitterness, the depression, the resentment, all those that are of the flesh, yes. the old man. Right. If we want them gone, we've got to work at thinking wholesome thoughts. Yes. As the scripture says, think on these. If there's any virtue, think on these. Why did he told us that? Because he wants us to live this overcoming, victorious life that he gave his life for so that we can get out of yesterday and be what he wants us to be today. This is 
so prevalent. I can look at some of your faces, and, and, and if I could see smoke, I could see it because <laughs> every one of you are thinking. But my situation, Pastor, it was so hurtful. It was so deliberate. Why do you want to live there? Amen. Amen. Why do you want to live there? I, I have no choice. Yes, you do. Amen. You do have a choice. Begin to work at it. Begin, I'm telling you. Begin to think. If you've got to, if you just sit around thinking of yesterday, think of good thoughts. Yeah, yeah. Think of when your child was first born. Amen. Look at your, think of good things. Come on, don't think of just the tragedies and the pain because you'll get nowhere else but that. Amen. Amen. Take off thy shoes. All right. Amen. All I've got to do Jesus said, Let's just wash your feet and you've ever been clean. Wow. 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 Yeah. I can just wash away where you walk. Wash away your memories. Wash away the bondage. Wash away what's really keeping you back. You're going to be clean. Peter, Peter, how many times did he betray? How many times did he open his mouth and stick his foot in it? And he didn't want all of that. Peter, all I've got to do is wash that junk away because it really doesn't matter. What matters is right now. What matters is this Lord's Supper. What matters is our time in relationship right now. That's the only thing that matters. This is the only thing that you can do something with. You can't do anything with yesterday. But right now, you can do something about Well, 
<laughs> That's the way it's going to be. All right. Yep. Oh, I heard, I heard some of that. Thank Gosh, you, my life is bad. No, it is. You may have some pain, yes. Right. And I'm not minimizing it. You may have some emotions. I understand that, but I'm trying to help you be healed. I'm trying to help you get past it. I'm trying to help you get rid of the resentment and the anger that is fighting. Right. Right. Yeah. Amen. Got a little bit more understanding how the power of God forgets my sin. Yeah. I know He's omnipotent, and I, and I understand He can do far more than I can. And I, I can't. Can't even come in and tell you, but what he does, he puts it away. Yes. He doesn't talk about it. That's right. When I'm born again and that blood has been applied and that's the payment of my debts, it's done. Right. We're not going to bring it up anymore. Because right. if we brought it up some more, then. Right. This is so pertinent. And, and I'm, I'm trying, and, and I know that. <laughs> That what I'm saying may even bring up some hurt, but that's the only way you're going to get rid of it. Yeah. You know what's really, really pertinent here is even the family unit. Parents and children. Come on now. Children, siblings with each other. Because they just, they just want to sit around and talk about how bad mama is, or how bad daddy is, or how bad my brother is. What good is that? Amen. Amen. They do you a bit of good. They're still your mama. And they're still your daddy. And they're still your brother and sister. And we're commanded to love one another. Amen. You know, we wouldn't, if we did this and we got into a routine, it'd be hard to stay mad at somebody in the length of time. Right. All right. Then you come back. Have you ever? Have you ever? Now some of you know like that. But have you ever been mad at a child or a spouse? Yes. Yes. <laughs> More times than you like to tell. Yeah. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, because other things got in your way and other things got in your mind, you were doing other things, and then you were still human because you couldn't you couldn't remember why. <laughs> God, I'm going to sit right down here and I'm going to think about it until I remember. Because I'm mad. And I refuse not to be mad. They did something. Is, is this true? And then sooner or later, when you can't think of it, you're no longer mad. So if you can forget what a spouse did, or a child, or a cohort. Even when you don't want to forget. All right. Surely, if you worked in it, it may take you a year. It may, it may take you two years. It depends on you and how much you put into it. But I promise you this by the Word of God: if you don't talk about it as much, it won't be as alive in you as much. Amen. Okay. And if you think about other things that are wholesome, pretty soon you won't even know the story. All right. So yeah. what are you going to do? Are you going to keep your shoes on? You're going to keep your yesterdays on? You're going to leave this place and you're still going to be miserable when God says all you got to do is take them off? All you got to do is think differently and talk differently and begin to make up my mind of, hey, what's done is done. But I can change this moment. some of you will be, you know, by this, you will see that anger will begin to diminish and resentment and bitterness will begin to leave. Amen. Because even though that incident caused that, why are you still living here? I know I'm saying this over, but why are you still living here? And maybe, maybe taking it out on people that weren't even party to it. All right. Because we love to do that. Take off those shoes.